Hey guys, Dave from the Rookie for Nerds by Nerds. Hang out with this nerd. Nerdark is Ted. And it's time to delve back into the Starfinder core, core rulebook for classes. And this time we're going to look at the Technomancer. Jump down the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy the newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. So uh, we're delving back into Starfinder with the classes, and this time we have Technomancer. The, the last and final class in the book. Five is actually the bottom for for hit points, and so that's if, just right where the technomancer falls. So if you wanna if you wanna be the lowest on the hit points, play a Yusaki technomancer. That is that is quite true, but I feel like they get a lot of other cool stuff that kind of makes up for it, and Yusaki are cool anyway. Oh, uh, I'm not I'm not discouraging that concept. It's actually really a really good uh really good mix, but you'll be saying not in the face a lot. <laughs> so as you would expect, core ability score for playing a technomancer is intelligence. And then it talks about the importance of dexterity if you're using ranged weapons. It also helps armor class, so... Yeah, you want to go there. <laughs> yeah, anything that keeps you from getting hit in the face is going to be a good deal. Uh, so they get four skills, you know, plus their intelligence modifier. Work, works out well, you know, because they're going to be smart anyway. R right, but, you know, they're still at the bottom end of, of skills, but they get some other stuff that's going to probably help, help make up for that. Proficiencies, it's pretty light. They get light armor, basic melee weapons, and small arms. Yeah, this is the least in the game. As you probably would expect. Yes. So, n now we're going to go on to their saving throws, and they only have one good saving throw. And they also have the worst uh, attack progression as well. Yeah. I mean, so, so, uh, so far, it doesn't sound like we're, we're really selling the sizzle on the Technomancer. But <laughs> wait, wait, there's more! The, the Technomancer is all about the spell casting, and that's where it's going to sell the sizzle. You know, look, look at your basic wizard in, in Pathfinder, and it's going to have the same, same correlation. You're going to get the bang for your buck out of your intelligence, out of your spell casting. And spell casting in Starfinder only goes from first to sixth level. Uh, you know, it utterly differentiates from you know, the other fantasy role playing games that are out there. Uh, so it, it's, it's interesting. Well, don't forget, you do get your zeroth level spells, which you can cast at well. So they always they always have access to those. And you know, on top of that, having a high intelligence is going to get you more spells, and you've also got your your spell cache, which can get you more spells as well. Right. The the major features of playing a technomancer is spell cache, magic hack, uh, tech lore, and and basically your spells. Right. So. The, the thing is, your spell cache, is, as you mentioned, is a way for you to... Act, it's the way they actually access their magic and can also give them more spells per day. So it's going to add to that as well. So it's kind of like your digital spell book, so to speak. Um, but it's it's they're kind of more sorcerer than wizard. But it gives them access to, you know, once a day to start, you, you can act, go into your spell cache and be able to cast a spell that you don't have any spell slots of that level for. So when you get all the way to 20th level and you've used up all your sixth, there's nothing to stop you saying, well, I want another sixth. Moving on to some of the other abilities, spell hack is actually where a lot of, a lot of the magic happens, right? The magic hack is actually where a lot of the magic happens for these guys. This is going to be the thing that allows you to change up how your spells work, give you new abilities, and... The magic hack is where you're going to really start to differentiate one Technomancer from another. Yeah, here, here is where all, all the classes have a way to customize, and this is where it fits in for the, uh, the, the Technomancer. You get one at second level, and another every three levels thereafter, so you know, 2, 5, 8, 11, so on and so forth. And in each of those progressions, you've got the ability to have access to a whole new list. So you can, of course, get an earlier one if you really like it, or, you know, choose one of the more powerful options that you've just gotten access to, and they are pretty potent. You know, I, I, I read through, and the first one that jumped out to me in the second level pool was spell countermeasures. You get a plus two saving throw bonus against spells and other magical effects. It's a static thing that I think will come up fairly often if you're happen to be up against spell other spellcasters, but it's not going to augment your spellcasting in any way. Yeah, there's a similar ability that you get later on 
that actually helps an ally instead. They have a couple cool things. There's another one where like you can actually use your spells and your uh, and your magic to empower your weapons, your armor, even create weapons and armor. Right. There's there's the ability to drain things that have charges to get spell slots back, or you know later on you can choose things where if you need to use your spell slots to put charges into stuff. So you you could literally be a a battery in in two directions. Right. And then there's abilities like, oh, you know what? I just hack machines by being me, you know, like you can like run your hands over the console or something, not even touch it, and you get the gist of what kind of information's in there. Maybe not the specifics. And there's a lot of different abilities that are kind of like like those. I, I think that one is is really cool, especially if you're playing the spy game. Yeah. But then of course, you know, you've got all your things that uh, allow you to change up the magic that's there, you know, make, you know, cast it bigger, impact more. If yeah, if you're familiar with Pathfinder and meta magic feats, then basically a lot of that is just baked into the class. So you can take them as magic hacks. So you can really double down on magic or you can go, no, I'm going to really double down on being a technomancer and be able to affect machinery and things of that nature. Uh, moving away from magic hacks, they get spell focus, they get weapon specialization, they get a ability called tech lore that eventually maxes out to a plus six. It gives them an insight bonus to sp specifics. Um, to computers and mysticism checks. Yes, specific skills. Uh, so, so they're really they're really good at tech. They're really good at knowing about magic and arcana, that kind of stuff. And that's also baked in into their class as well. So, the the technomancer they're they're going to be built for those magic hacks, like we said, and that's going to be the differentiator. So you can play them a lot of different ways. Absolutely. All right. So if, as always, they they have these uh, you know pre built archetypes. So if you go with the theme mercenary, you could be a battle mage. If you go with the theme icon, you could be a, a corporate tech mage. And then they actually have two different ones for, for, for scholar. scholar. Whether whether you want to be a research research scientist or a thaumaturge. And I just love you know the artwork for all of the archetypes that they that they've put out there. Uh, it's just it's just cool. Yeah, in uh, in this particular section of the themes for. You know, for the Technomancer, they all look so different. Like looking at these, we didn't have any words on the pages. We uh, on the page, and we just had pictures. I'm not so sure I would able to be able to say, oh, these are all different versions of the same kind of character class. They, they, it really speaks to how how much different of a feel you can get just by mixing and matching those hacks. And and, and basically, if you look at it you know, and you think about and you think about the hacks, you go, oh yeah, now I see what they're doing here. And you kind of get the you get the where the difference comes from. Yeah, the corporate tech mage, I w I would have put that as an operative. Oh yeah, look in the picture, and it's funny because you know they they mix that theme with icon too, which is also kind of different, you know, and uh, you know, but yeah, I can see how like maybe you're like the rock star of you know of the corporations and you're the guy they call when they get things when they need to get things done matter of fact i believe that's exactly kind of what it says because you they work, each give a little flavor text yeah you work for an important corporation and when they need to get something done they call on you i am right there so what do you guys think starfinder are you playing technomancers yes no maybe so let us know in the comments below while you're at it like share and subscribe you can check us out over on facebook so until next time stay, stay nerdy, nerdy.